octopus. Period. That platypus. Huh. That was made by Disney. Oh, that's cool. Folks, this is Rocky Red Panda, the host of the artist show, and it's that time again. It's Wednesday. It's real shopping day. Wow, that sounds so weird. But we're going to be going to a few thrift shops today. Uh, we are going to be checking a few Goodwills, a uh, community aid, and more Goodwills. So this is going to actually going to be very beneficial. It's going to be fun. It's going to be an awesome day. And then we're going to, at the end of the show, like we do with every week, we're going to compare and contrast and see what we found. If the price was good, if the price was bad, up, down. So... Let's go have fun. Community aid. Let's see what we can find. We're at community aid, and we're gonna look around, see if we can find some finds. But so far, nothing. But we'll keep looking. Discord, my little pony. Oh my goodness! He just had to. Kind of look, but I found a Discord. Oh my goodness! Secret life of pets. A tattoo coloring book. Color yourself crazy with tattoos. Batman. Hmm. Oh, that is cool. And clothes. Let's check things out. found a few things, but not much, but uh, comics, clothes, uh, a few odds and ends, so you'll get to see it at the end of the video. This is the fun part, going through all of this to find arts and crafts stuff. I have to point out quickly. If you were ever into Connects as a kid, I've been seeing Connects a lot today, so Connects must be the in thing to have a lot of Connects. Even this, man, if I were in Connects, I would be in heaven, but unfortunately, I grew out of that. <laughs> Beardos, name that beard game. Stay. Whoa. Cool. I love mainstay. Now I could use this to frame some of my art, but I love my 17. Be a little big for this, but I can always mat it. Like it will, Doctor Who. Unfortunately, it's for an iPhone 4, which is so obsolete. But Doctor Who. You'll notice that it will, is everything is color coded so you have your reds your blues your greens your whites your clears and you just have to really look and stuff will be hidden and other stuff like this there's a micro brick and this one is penguins collect them all pretty cool how much is this 97 cents. Huh. I just gotta show this. It doesn't screen gay. Mm. Rainbow. You're welcome. Smart globe system. I have one of those where I remember it from a kid. This is a typewriter made by brother. How about an I can play guitar? Very generic. A Mattel guitar wizard. Here <laughs> designer swatches, things here. Ooh. A light up neon yo-yo. Seriously. That's a that's a okay. Alright, right. Well you're gonna find some Interesting stuff here. <laughs> I'm a 
must be the thing of the week. Oh, look at that cute little unicorn. And it's actually a container. How about that? I think this is supposed to be for a cell phone. That's a creepy fox thing. And that's just creepy. Let's all paint a poo. Mmm. Paint a poo. Oh boy, does that sound fantastic. Is that to say paint a poo? Don't think so. Not gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got down here. Huh. Storm Trooper. Oh my. This brings back memories of childhood feels. Oh, there's Mace Windu. Kind of stuff I would go for, but they're not really selling, so it would be worthless getting there, so I'm not. But let's continue on because this Goodwill is awesome. Oh my goodness. Stratego. Oh my, Stratego. That is a classic. Almost like Risk, but not like Risk. Risk is still better, but Stratego. Amazing. I, I vaguely remember it, but Y2K, Home Preparation Guide. Jeez. Yeah, this was a thing. Everyone was more concerned about the computers failing and the world was coming to an end. And what's going to happen, Y2K? Yep. Time for the first skip will in Frederick. Hello Kitty Radio thingamajigger. Oh, that's cool. Show you this. See if I can get it down. This was my childhood. Road Auto Bingo. That is awesome. How many are there? Oh, there are two. Childhood. And some frames. Awesome. Stories of Jesus. Ah, they are little books. How about that? And the Barbie movie collection. Includes four Barbie princess movies. If Barbie wasn't enough, she's a Nutcracker, Rapunzel, Swan Lake, and the Princess and the Pauper. <laughs> Party pole, or best known as Let's Exercise. Um, I'll leave you to your imagination on that. I'm not going to say much to that. I'll just let the images do the notion for it. Alright, so we're at Goodwill number two in Frederick. So, let's uh, go on a little adventure, shall we? Retro is a thing, you know. Ooga. How about that? Echo One scale model kit. Everything looks good, it's intact. But for me, I just don't have the time to put it together. It's cool though. Memory foam massaging booties. <laughs> what will they think of next? Remembers this Firestone decor pillow foam. Back when Firestone actually made decor. And not just tires. For one to know everything, there's a game for Wikipedia. The game about everything. It's a very underrated Willow by Steven Spielberg. No, George Lucas, excuse me. It's a Lucas film. I was going to say Steven Spielberg. So we shopped at Goodwill. The last location for today. There's so many more in this area we could have gone to. But we're going to save that for another time because we can't go to every single one in one day. So it's um, awesome. Found a t-shirt. Found a DVD. Had some fun. We're going to get some food. And when we get home, we're going to do Let's Review. Back to our lovely desk 
And as you can see, the scene at the artist show, this is where it's filmed. And we're going to go through everything that we found. We've been very successful in finding a few things. Well, actually, whoa. More than a few things. But we're going to get through it. I'm actually wearing one right now. Actually wearing two right now. So we'll get to talking about that here in a second. Yes, I will be disrobing. So let's put some stuff aside because there's a lot to go through. All right. All right. With all aside, we're going to play a little game that is now going to be the staple of every ending of a thrifting episode, which we'll start out with, is it a good buy or was it a bad buy? And then we're going to end every video, of course, with uh, some tips and hints for thrifty thrift shoppers. So let's go ahead and start from, yeah. So I went to Community Aid in Hanover. I've been there in a while and I found a few small things. So we'll put you aside because you were not from Community Aid. So let's first start out with this. This one here. Y'all know him from Illumination, The Secret Life of Pets. Uh, this is the plush animal. Woo. And I can't remember the name of him, but life was able. Yeah, it'll come to me. Can't remember the life of him. I'm drawing a blank. Let's ignore that. So, let's start with this. Brand new, still with the tags. Good condition, mint condition. Um, new. This would probably cost between $5.99 to $10.99. I paid $2. Difference of $8.99. So was it a good or was it a bad buy? Uh, thumbs say it was a good buy because you saved money on this. Now, will I resell him? Probably not. He is going to be going right here for now. He is in my secret location. Let's move on to number two. Here we have Discord from My Little Pony. Now this is brand new, still in the box. We do have some tear here of usage, but uh, otherwise he's still pristine. Now when the person bought it, they bought it from Hot Topic. As you can see, the 30% off sticker here. So Discord, brand new, cost about $24.50. With the 30% off, they only paid $17.80 with tax. Now, I paid $5.99, and this was 50% off, so I only paid $2.99, of a difference of $14.19. Now, was this a winner? So, I'm actually going to be using cards. So, I'm going to say yes and no. Let's do it. So, I have my two cards here, a Y and the N. Why for yes and for no. So did I save? And was this a good buy? This is a yes. Now with this, I could easily resell it if I wanted to resell this cord. But for now, it's got a proper place on my shelf. So moving on. I got this. Yeah. Mm, I think so. So... This is a blank frame. I collect frames. I use frames for just about everything. I paid $10, $15 for this frame. Uh, actually, no, the frame cost $10, $15 new. I paid $1 for it, difference of $14. So, with this one easy, why for it was a save. Now, we got some DVDs here. Both, well, actually, this one's from Goodwill. But we got some DVDs. This one is from Comediate, 50% off. So this DVD, new, costs $17.98. This is Fargo, one of my favorite movies by the Coen brothers. Don't you know? Now, I paid $2.99. It was 50% off, so I only paid $1.50 with a difference of $6.48. I'm going to get this a yes. Because that is a safe. 
Now moving on. Uh, this this goes well. Ah, everything is discombobulated. So I'm going to put some stuff up here. And we're going to go ahead and talk about these comics. So, with these comics, here's where it's going to get interesting. Let's first start out with these two big ones. This is called Big Guy Comics. Uh, this is a Frank Miller. He is a fantastic artist. The Big Guy and Rusty the Boy Robot. Issues number one. Issues number two. Now each of these costs about $1.99 each. New, because I went to go look for this online. They actually don't have a value price for this. So $4.95. I pay $1.99. Uh, difference of $2.96. So was this actually a save? I'm going to give this a no. Even though I collect comics. If you're going to collect comics, do check the value of how much the item is worth before you buy it. Because by doing so, you know if you're getting a good buy or not. In this case, I just bought because they're comics. No buy there. Now here is where it's going to get interesting. Here's where I took a chance. I took a really chance here. So, we're going to open this up. Now these were a stack of comics. This is going to be comics number two bag. Um, I paid $1.99 for the whole bag of two comics. And here you have Shadow Hawk by Image, number two. And you have the Armor, Arbory Wars and Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth, number three. So both of these. Let's start with Shadow Hawk. Shadow Hawk is valued at $2. And uh, the Armory Wars, it's $13.95 new. So did I really save? So two... I would say I'll give this one a, a yes, even though the value of the comics itself are not that great. Uh, I took a risk. The risk is what you have to take sometimes when you're out thrift shopping, and that's a risk that I took. So we'll put this aside. Now we're going to go for the next one here. Now this one is comic lot number one. There are a total of three that came in here. Now out of these three comics, we have... Uh, Solarity, Action, and Brigade number two, Genocide. So let's start with the Action and Solarity. So Action and Solarity, they're, not, they're pretty new, so they're both about $3.99 each. And now Brigade. I search up Brigade's value on uh, number two in the condition that it's in. It's selling right now for between $9. To twelve dollars, that is through comic shops, eBay, and whatnot. Now I only pay one ninety nine for this lot. Now was this a good buy? That is a big yes because of the brigade comic. Now that is a one in a million. You never know what you would what you will find, especially in comics. Now again. Like I mentioned with the two big boys, you have to be cautious and vigilant. If you can't find a price for it online, which I use many different apps for this, then use your best judgment on buying it. With big boy, I got it because they're comics. So let's go ahead and we'll, we're going to show a lot of these. These are frames. I paid uh, 25 cents each for a frame, new to about a dollar. So that's going to be a quick yes. These are good for um, matting. All right, now we're on to our next location. We went to the Goodwill in Hanover. So we're going to start with Micro Bricks, tidiest building blocks ever. This is series four. It is a penguin, brand new, still in box. All it has is the name Scott written on top. Now I paid 97 cents for this. New, this costs between $9.95 to $12.95. So I would say it's a yes. Awesome find. Let's move on. Now this is one of my favorites here. Oh my goodness. I was, uh, when I put together my little figurines that are down below there, the, uh, oh you betcha, 
I'm De uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie. I started getting into doing a DIY, what they call DIY miniature house building. Well, there's a company that I looked up because I was looking to add some more stuff to that, um, which is uh, called RoboTime, and they were selling stuff on Amazon. Now, when I went to Goodwill, I found this. This is a DIY kitchen. On the back, it says it's from Bits and Pieces, but you can find it on Amazon. This is Jason's Kitchen. Brand new, still in box. Now, new on Amazon, this kit itself, as is, sells for $34.99. Brand new. I paid $4.97. This is a difference of $30.02. And because I'm excited because I've been wanting to put this together. So this is a astounding yes. Oh my goodness. This is a big, big, big yes, 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 yes. You don't find rarities like that. So you just have to be careful. A little move on. This is a DVD. This is uh, Spaceballs. Now everyone's favorite classic by Mel Brooks. Spaceballs. Now... The price for new of this DVD is about $7.35. I pay $2.95, a difference of $4.38. So, did I really save on this? We're astounding. This is where I'm going to have to go with yay and nay. I'm going to have to go with both. Um, $4 difference. The only reason you would buy this movie is if you like it. And if you already don't own it. Most people do, and it's probably in their collection right now. Um, so again, watch out for the price. Check before you buy. And always check the DVD to make sure it works and is clean. Now, <clears throat> what we got here? Mainstay 12 inch by 18 inch frame. Brand new. Um, new, it costs about $7.07. I have a three ninety seven the difference of three ten. We're not going to worry about yes or no. I bought this because I use them to make art. So yes, it's going to a good cause. Now we're going to move into some of the items that I found when I went to Westminster and Frederick. So we're going to split these up in no particular order. So let's first start out with. Uh, one well, of the Goodwills that we went to in Frederick, I guess. That's where I found these. I found frames. Frames are always good, regardless. So this is the pack of two. Um, it's out. Um, it's on back order or it's sold out through Walmart. Um, I paid $1.99. Knew this about $1.88. Did I really save? No, but again, with these, and these, which are used for matting. And this, all by mainstay. Regardless of the price, I'll use them for my artwork. And lastly, we got this big lot here. Whew. A lot of stuff to go through. So, we got this protractor. With pencils and whatnot. When you were in school, you probably used a protractor set, just like so. I paid 99 cents for this. These cost new between five to twenty-five dollars, depending on maybe up to a hundred dollars, depending on what you're using it for, or what company you get it from. This is probably from the cheaper end. Now, did I save on that? I would say, cha ching, yes. Let's move on to Willow, the most underrated movie that people don't really will talk about. And it's made by Lucas Films, folks, not my, uh, not by Steven Spielberg, George Lucas. Now, this is Willow. Again, you always want to make sure the DVD looks good. Check the back. Make sure no scratches, no dents. In this case, you're correct. This is the special edition DVD of Willow. I paid $2.99, new $18.99, difference of $16. So, was it a good 
It was a astounding guess. I actually saved, and it's a good movie. The Amazing Gumball! Cheat Codes! I didn't know they made Amazing Gumball into a comic series, but here it is. Amazing Gumball, the comic series. With all those lovely comics. Again, I collected this because, look at the art. It's awesome. So, brand new, $9.99. I paid $2.99. Remember, today's color, purple. So, 50% off. I only paid $150. So, $150, $10. Did I actually save on this? I would have to give it a resounding yes. That's going into my collection. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Behave yourself there. Behave yourself there. All right. So we got a book called Doomed Queens. Royal women who met bad ends from Cleopatra to Princess Di. I found this at the Goodwill in Westminster. Um, I paid $1.99 for it. New, $14.20. So $13 saved. And I would give this a yes. Here we have Liberty. Heroes of the American Revolution to this collection. Set brand new. On the back here, they bought from Cracker Barrel for $14.99. I typed it in by a little scanning machine, and I paid eight, uh, new, I got 806. So, here's where it's going to be a little tricky. The price I looked online is different from what the price is here. Well, then again, you're selling it at a Cracker Barrel. So, you have to mark your price up a little bit. So I'm going to go with what's on my card here, only because that's what I found. Let's pretend I didn't see that price in the back. Liberty, Heroes of the American Revolution, brand new, cost about 806 I paid $2.99, difference of about $6. Was this a save? The answer is no. If I went for the price in the back, it would be a yes. The only reason I got this this is a subject that I love, American Revolution. John Adams, HBO miniseries, Join or Die. Really good series, by the way. I paid $4.99 for this. This was at the Goodwill in Westminster. New is about $18.35, so save difference of $13.36. This is a win. And then last but not least, whoo, this is a lot. We're going to get down to the last one. Doctor Who book. So this is Doctor Who, Time Trips by BBC. Like so. I looked online. Amazon only had six left in stock. I paid $2.99. The book new, $13.95. Was this a astounding yes? Last this video, well, one of the videos, well, the video I mentioned today, well, I found something Doctor Who today, and it was uh, iPhone 4 case. This makes up for it. This is more modern. So we found a lot of things thrifting. But... It's time for what I call some tips and tricks because every episode I gotta give some new tips and tricks for people that go out thrift shopping. Now, trick tip number one for this week. Watch the colors. The colors, so they can say all purple items, 50% off. Watch your tags. If it's not on sale, and it's the color of the week at Goodwill, check the price before you buy to make sure that you are getting a good deal. Just like I did here on the show. I did all of the pricing and checking before I put the show together. 
Let's go with tip number two. It's one that I iterated in my last episode. Have a set plan before you go in to shop and make sure you have a set currency. Now, I budgeted $20 per location. So when I go in there, I don't spend more than 20, but I can spend less than 20. Now, have a set when you go shopping. Of course, as you saw today, I really didn't. I went in willy nilly and I didn't have a list of what, I, what I'm looking for. So of course, I started shopping here. I said, like, oh, look here. Oh, look at this. I want this, I want that. I want this, I want that. Well, that's not being a good shopper. So I broke one of my own rules. But for you guys out there, maybe you'll do a little bit better. And we're gonna end with tip number three. If you have to go over your budget, and it's something that um, you're looking at, go ahead and do so. But again, know what you buy. I found at a thrift shop a bunch of Lego sets. Now the Lego sets were all vintage. They were out of print between 1998 to 2000. My gut was saying, buy them. But my brain was being smart and saying, you don't know anything about collecting Legos. So if you bought these, what are you going to do? Plus, I had very low signal. So I looked online to try to do the best I can to get the best price. But what I found out was they weren't selling online and I knew nothing about it. So I kicked myself and said, I'm not buying them. And I walked away. I did the smart thing. Now, last night, before I went to bed, I did a little bit more research. Um, I talked to a few people, and then I ended up sending a message because we as thrifters, just like you, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You have to be courteous. I sent a message to someone on Facebook that collects Legos and, and mentioned where they're located, what the costs were, and what were in each set. He sent me a message back this morning saying it was a hike, but I bought them all. Thank you so much. So, we thrifters and we collectors had to do a good diligent deed and to help others. Well, with that said, this has been a fun, long episode of thrifting. And as always, happy thrifting. It doesn't matter what day you go on, the best days in my area to go sh thrift shopping and set up in Camp Hill area is on Wednesdays. But for you, it may be different. Have a set expenditure. And as always, have fun. Woof, woof. And until next time, this is Rocky Red Panda signing out. Catch you on the flip side.